Hi, I'm Taylor, and I'm here to talk to you about the Stanford Binet exam. The Stanford Binet is an IQ test that is designed to measure both intelligence and cognitive abilities in both adults and children. Educators also use the Stanford Binet to determine learning disabilities and the presence of giftedness. In New York City, Hunter College Elementary School is a public school that uses a modified version of the Stanford Binet as part of their round one of admissions. The only entrance point for Hunter College Elementary School is at the kindergarten level. Applicants must be four or turning four by the end of the year of the application deadline in order to test for entry into this school. This version of the modified Sanford Binet is administered one-on-one -on -one with a psychologist and no parents are allowed in the room during the administration. Once registered for this test, parents will receive an email of only four testers. Parents then must choose only one and schedule the appointment. The round one process starts immediately after the family submits their application. From the date of the application submission, the family then has a three-week window for which they must schedule and complete the child's testing. The entire test typically takes about 45 to 75 minutes, with 30 minutes allocated for both the verbal and the nonverbal portions. There are five areas examined on this modified version of the Stanford Binet, which include both the verbal and nonverbal. However, this test is extremely verbal. These areas include fluid reasoning, knowledge, visual spatial processing, working memory, and quantitative reasoning. A few of the skills required to excel in the Stanford Binet include listening abilities, general knowledge, and language development. This test is scored within two month age bands, a critical factor when determining your child's testing date. For admissions into Hunter, your child must score within the 99th percentile. Hunter determines cutoff scores every year. For those students who meet the cutoff score, they're invited back for a round two experience. Children will be assigned an appointment time and Hunter does not take appointment requests. At round two, children meet in small groups where trained consultants observe their behaviors and interactions with not only their peers, but also the teachers. Families will receive an admissions decision by either email or regular mail around February of the testing year. The family then has only one week to respond yes or no. Here at Bright Kids, we have quite a few options to prepare your child for the types of questions that they might encounter on this test. Bright Kids would recommend more preparation for those students where English is not the primary language spoken at home, based on the fact that the test is administered in English and requires a lot of verbal expressiveness during the exam. Hunter College Elementary School strongly discourages exposing children to the Stanford Binet prior to the formal administration of this exam. We completely agree with Hunter College Elementary School that the children should not be exposed to the exact questions on the Stanford Binet before the test, as this damages the integrity of the test. However, here at Bright Kids, we would never expose a child to the exact questions on the Stanford Binet. Instead, our teachers focus on building those core skills, such as vocabulary and comprehension. The wise course of action is to avoid exposing your child to anything that may be too specifically similar to the actual content of the test. As long as you do this, you can proceed worry-free, educating your child on the general skills needed to do well on this test. Contact a Bright Kids account manager today to learn about more of our options, as well as to find out your child's optimal testing window. <laughs>